Hello insiders, my name is Hamza and I work on account safety at YouTube. We've talked about best practices to keeping your channel safe in the past, but today I'm here to talk about a new requirement for all channels in and requesting to join the YouTube Partner Program. As of November 1st, our policy on two-step verification is changing. This means that all creators in the YouTube Partner Program are required to turn on two-step verification. If you do not turn on two-step verification by November 1st, you will lose access to YouTube Studio on your monetizing channel until it's turned on. This will not affect your channel's monetization. So why are we doing this? We wanna keep your account safe, and two-step verification is one of YouTube's strongest defenses against account hijacking, hacking, and compromise. And an additional benefit of the change verifies that it's you before making any major changes to your account, like changing passwords or granting access permissions. So you're preventing a hacker from changing your videos taking your earnings or sending harmful content to your audience. And remember, two-step verification is already a requirement to making sensitive changes to your account. Now, if you've forgotten what two-step verification is, it's a tool that helps keep bad actors out, even if they get your login information, by using a secondary form of verification, like a cell phone or a security key. Once enabled, each time you sign into your Google account, you'll need your password and that second form of verification to sign in. So how can you enable two-step verification? So from your Google account page, click on Get Started and follow the steps to add this extra layer of security for your YouTube channel. You'll also receive notifications directly in YouTube Studio to prompt you to get started. Now, if you have multiple Google accounts, make sure you enable two-step verification for the Google account associated with your YouTube channel. Once you enable two-step verification, signing into your Google account will work a little differently. Whenever you sign into Google, you'll enter your password as usual. And then next, the code will be sent to your phone via text, phone call, or our mobile app. Or if you have a security key, you can insert it into your computer's USB port. If you have any questions about this change, please feel free to leave them in the comments below, and I'll try to answer as many as possible. But while I'm here, I wanted to go over a few other best practices to keeping your account safe. First, check your channel level permissions under settings of your dashboard and verify that they're correct. This is super important because it determines who has access to your YouTube channel. Second, create a strong password and do not share it. A secure password, one that includes a mixture of upper and lowercase letters, numbers and symbols, and updated recovery information helps protect your Google account. We recommend that you do not share this password with anybody. Third, avoid and report phishing and malware scams. Phishing is an attempt to trick you into revealing critical personal information like a password or to download files or software on your computer or mobile device that's meant to harm that device. Knowing what to look for means you can get ahead of potential scams like these. And remember to always report phishing emails by following the instructions I'll link in the description below. We'll also leave additional resources in the description below, like five things you can do today to help protect your Google account and how two-step verification works. Thank you so much.